So this is me making my hypsometer. I just used some washers for the weight and for the string. I just used the inner strand of some paracord. I uh, taped a plastic straw that I just found lying around the house uh, to the hypsometer as the sights or whatever you want to call it. That's what it looks like when I was finished with it. So this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a hypsometer, a tape measure, and a pen and pencil. And I'm going to be using a piece of paper to do the uh, formulas and equations, or to work it out, and that's the equation that I'm going to use. I'm going to be measuring that huge telephone pole. I measured, uh, I marked 24 feet away from the telephone pole, which is uh, 288 inches. And Aiden helped me film this one. Uh, this is me uh, using the hypsometer to uh, measure the angle of elevation. If I remember correctly, uh, I measured 40 degrees. Yeah. So I'm going to be using that when I uh, work it out on paper. So here I'm doing the right. eye to ground right. there. measurement. Oh, that's actually at 69 inches. Yeah, so it's at it was approximately inches. 69 yeah. inches, right. over 5 feet 9 inches. Uh, 5 feet. 5 feet. Yeah, 5 feet 9 inches. 12 times 5 is 60. Take measurement. So then the reading. Uh, this is me just working it out and uh, using the stuff that I gathered to uh, find the height of the telephone pole. So now I'm plugging everything into the equation. It is the height equals 69 plus 288 uh, multiplied by the tangent. Of 90 uh, minus 40. Here I'm just uh, calculating all of that and uh, figuring out what the height is. That was my final calculation, and I got 34.3, etc., uh, as the height of the telephone pole. So that pole is 34 feet. So it says the height of the telephone pole is 34.3 feet tall. Aiden helped me a little. And Aiden helped me out a little bit with this one. And that.